Adamu Garaba reacts as APC Arawa Forum dissociates itself from the Tenembo's presidential campaign. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get it to find out, we'll post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Adamu Garaba had reacted to the information trending online about the Arawa content forum decision to withdraw itself from all the activities related to the APC and Tinubu Shetima presidential campaign activist. Some hours ago, there was a signed press release reportedly from the office of the Arawa Concern Forum Group, which consists of 200 support group influencers of the All Progressives Congress in the 36 states of Nigeria, resolving to dissociate itself from giving 6 million votes to Tinubu Shetima as the presidential candidate in the 2023 election. The group made this decision after the general meeting with their support group in Kaduna State. However, Adamu Garaba, in reacting to the statement of support withdrawal by the Arawa Consent Forum, noted that the information is just blackmail, which they are not going to accept. He noted that if the All Progressive Congress allows it to pass, they will be opening the door for more new forms of blackmail. He therefore advised the All Progressive Congress to continue with his campaign activities and forget the blackmailers. Adamu Garaba posts on Twitter with us. This is a typical blackmail and we should not succumb to this. If we tolerate this, we'll open, we simply open a new blackmail market for every opportunist. Reminder from a case of Vikings alliance with King Albert of Wessex in the 800s, in the 80s. We should forge ahead with our campaign and shun blackmailers. It will be of concern of to note that this was not the first time the group had allegedly come out to dissociate itself from the Euro Progressive Congress. Now, the the press release from the APC Arawa Concern Forum reads thus: Press release APC Arawa Concern Forum A C O F APC N H D Q APC A S S Sister Seven Zero Two One O Nine dissociate itself from all activities related to the All Progressive Congress and Tinubu Shetima presidential campaign activities in the 36 states, including the FCT, until further notice. Press really, okay. The affirmation organization, which is almagated of 200 support groups influencers of the ruling party, APC, from the 36 state, and Nigeria's result to the state itself from the 6 million votes to Tunumbu Shetima, the All Progressive Congress presidential aspirant in 2023 general election. This resulted to the total disregard to his affairs by the All Progressive Congress at a national body. The announcement was made today, 27th December 2022 after a general meeting with support groups in Kaduna. This group also wishes to inform the general public that it will soon address international press conference in this regard. And I'm here asking myself, international press conference, onto which matter? You want to dissociate yourself from why are you, why are you coming out to even say it? <laughs> I don't know if you define. My own is, you are, okay, you are dissociating yourself and you are announcing to the world, like I said. These people, they are playing to the gallery. Okay, no sane person would associate with APC and Tunebo. They have killed Nigeria. My dear, they have a lot of people, like people law, people law, <laughs> who are associating with the APC. Yeah. Don't even go there. Tunebo cannot win the presidential election. Atiku's experience is needed now to save Nigeria. Which Atiku? Atiku's experience, the only experience we remember is the experience of him selling off a uh, uh, what's it called? One of uh, uh, what's it called? Should I say company at that time for less? I beg the beast. The answer is not only for that needs to have in Nigeria. Okay, now if you're talking of expressing governance, I think P2B and BAT stand tall because they had a shot at the state, correct? At the state level, Article by the constitution provision never presided. Over any administration except OBG when OBG was not around. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the VP's office. Look, one thing I find out about the VP's office, hmm? talking about VP is if your if your principal, which is if the president himself is somebody who is very learned, he's going to be delegating a whole lot to you. If you people have harmony of purpose, if you people work together, 
if you're all out for the same thing, I tell you and I kid you not. Huh? You have, uh, uh, what's it called? You have delegation coming from the, in fact, the VP will, I mean, the principal will make you, your president will make the vice same because it's going to be delegating. But if you don't have a harmony of purpose, he feels he can shout you down, he feels he can talk you down, oh okay? God, you will be, you, nobody will see your face. Just like the one we, just like the VP we have now. You know, they hardly hear anything about them again. And I do not know why. Okay. And it is true, if you're talking about experience in the People Democratic Party, Atiku um, does not have. He does not have. Once upon a time, P2B was the governor. And once upon a time, P2B was the governor. Once upon a time, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, um, Bola Metonombo was also a governor. Once upon a time, Juan Kwaso Rabiu Musa was the governor. So all these people, they have experience, even more than Atiku. All right. Whether it is blackmail or not, the truth remains that no reasonable sane person or group of people who have shame and the interest of Nigerians at heart. Thank God you are putting the interest of Nigerians at Not even shame. Okay. Will ever support this joke called Tunibu's presidential ambition. It is an insult to Nigeria as a country of about 200 million people. Tunibu is the criminal party. Is the criminal is what the criminal pa party, the All Progressive Congress, see to present as a presidential candidate? Well, Nigerians will teach them a bitter lesson. Well, uh, I am watching and seeing the bitter lesson. I am sincerely watching. It is almost here. What an amateur dribbler, John Maradona, one will bow. Tell him that he can dribble the whole nation, but dribble, dribble, and dribble himself. Oh my goodness, what is this person saying? Well, um, like I said, whether the group is real or not, but coming out, you want to dissociate from somebody, why are you announcing it? Be honest, why are you announcing it? What, that, what exactly is this group driving at? Do they want to attract Atiku or they want to attract, I don't know. But at the end of the day, I feel they are out for something. Sure. They give it to the truck. That is why they're coming out to do press release and even talking about doing international release. On top, say, you know, what work with person again. All right, and this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.